Suzanne Abu Eid is here from Health Canada, uh, the uh, Consumer Outreach. How are you? Good, how are you? Yeah, I was just asking you what you do over there. It's pretty exciting stuff, right? Oh, it is? Uh, yeah. Well, we educate consumers on how to use products safely and also right. how to purchase uh, products that are safe. Yeah, and oftentimes recalls and stuff go through you guys? Yep, exactly. Right? Uh, if we see that a uh, product is hazardous to, uh, to Canadians' health, we, we do go out and uh, do recalls. Yeah, yeah. And oftentimes you're telling me the companies themselves get in touch with you and alert you as to a recall. Yeah, so we work very closely with industry uh, to ensure the products are safe. It's yeah. interesting work, Ace. Yeah, it is. <laughs> okay, what's with the hat and the uh, the outfit? What's going on here? Well, I'm going to talk a little bit about Halloween safety today. Yes. Uh, first off, I'm going to talk a little bit about costumes. Uh, we all know that... Uh, we want our kids to be safe and have fun. Yeah. So uh, costumes, we we recommend that they're, they're they fit properly. I right. know it might be cold, you know, snow suits. <laughs> so they might be a little bit baggy, but not too baggy. And kids shouldn't have to trip over them. And there shouldn't be any parts flying around. Is this if if it's sized properly? Is this a safe costume? It is a safe costume. How about the hat? Is that safe? The hat? Nope. Uh, well, the hat itself is safe. The feathers are not. The feathers are uh -huh. actually. Pretty flammable. So, is that right? Yeah, so if they come. I could be on fire right now. You could be if someone, you know, wanted to bring a candle. So it's the feathers that are the problem, not the witch's hat. Exactly. The ah. hat itself, so. Uh, it's fine, but not the feathers. Okay, now Halloween decorations, not just costumes, can be just as deadly. Yes. Uh, look at this uh, candle. That's pretty cool, eh? It's the hand, and it's got a, it's got wicks on each of the fingertips, and it, I bet you when it's lit, it looks nice. It does. It has a pretty neat effect, but the problem is that it's a multi-wick candle, and we don't recommend using multi-wick candles because it creates one big flame, which is a huge fire hazard. Be before? Yes. After? After. Really? Yeah. This thing caught fire and, and melted down like this. Pretty much, and there was a huge pool of wa uh, wax at the bottom. So, so if you've got this burning in the window, let's say, yeah. and you're answering the door for trick-or-treaters, you might have a problem on your hands. Oh, definitely ha we'll have a problem on your hands. Suzanne, how do we find out what products are safe and which are not? Like, uh, obviously, we want to avoid masks that you can't see out of properly and yeah. use makeup instead, right? Yep, that's what we recommend. To, those to those to are the, some of the old standard sort of tricks. Oh, definitely. Yeah. yeah. Um, what about pumpkins? You got to be safe with pumpkins. Yeah, uh, with pumpkins, you want to uh, carve it yourself as an adult. Uh, children can help out, scoop out the the insides, draw the face on. Uh, but we recommend that adults do the carving just for safety. Yeah. We also recommend that you use uh, battery operated candles inside rather than the flame candles because pumpkins can be highly flammable. Yeah. So um, they can they can be. They can be and and keep them any time you use a candle anyway you should keep it out of reach of children. Right. Uh, also matches and lighters keep them out of reach of children uh, so you don't have any problems on your hands. And uh, listen uh, keep your your uh, your walkways safe and. Yeah. Clear of any clutter, like like some people put, like to put pumpkins on the steps and stuff. Oh, just yeah. make sure they're out of the way when the yeah. kids are coming. Exactly. And if you know if you're a teenager and you think it's funny to grab someone's pumpkin and throw it on the road and make a big splat and all that, even that can be dangerous. Oh, definitely. Yeah, you just want to make sure that all your decorations are uh, used for their intended purposes. In other words, hoodlums, <laughs> don't take my pumpkins. <laughs> Just think about safety. You know, it's something to have in, in your mind, right? Yeah, definitely. Where do we find out more about what you do and your safety tips? Oh, you go on to healthycanadians.gc.ca and you can find out all about uh, Halloween safety and any of our product safety messages. Mm -hmm. uh, you can also go on there to check out our recalls and also report any unsafe products you find. Yep. Speaking of Halloween, uh, Sarah Freemark's checking out Chills for Chio. It's pretty cool, you know. Yeah. You want to see? Sure. Sarah, take it away. <laughs> 